Manly winger David Williams knows he'll have his work cut out for him this Sunday when he lines up against Warriors wrecking ball Manu Vatuvai at Blue Tongue Stadium. Williams has only managed to score two tries in his last five clashes against the Warriors, despite having an impressive overall strike rate of 56 tries in 84 appearances for the Seagulls. He says his task on the weekend doesn't get any easier with an opponent weighing in at 112 kilos. When you're looking at a bloody six foot four five foot wide winger he's about to 300 pound you know you're in trouble so uh now nah, they, they got the they got the flair to shape it up with every team and also the muscle to to grind out games as well so um well they they did a number on us last time so we're not they, they won't be taken lightly by us at all that narrow defeat at the hands of the Warriors during round 13 derailed Manly, the Northern Beaches outfit going on to suffer subsequent losses to the Bulldogs and Roosters. They've turned things around in the lead up to round 22 though, stringing together five wins, but Williams says they will have to be wary of their resurgent opponents. I've got them as a dark horse. If they decide to put consistent football together, they can, they can beat anyone on their day like they showed against Melbourne. The high-flying Seagulls are preparing to face a hungry Warriors squad that are now sitting at 10th place on the ladder and just three points shy of the top eight. But prop Brenton Lawrence is confident they'll handle the task and is enjoying being a part of a top three side. It's building uh, my confidence and just it's good to be a part of. I sort of uh, pinch myself every now and then, you know, we're sitting third and um, I'm, a, I'm a big part of that and I'm, I'm excited about what the next couple of weeks. With the recent return of star fullback Brett Stewart, the Seagulls are back to full strength and coach Jeff Tuvey has named the same 17 that smashed the Eels last weekend to take on the Warriors when they head to the New South Wales Central Coast. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.